How can I turn down someone with an intellectual disability who doesn't seem to understand, no. He might be high needs but he's emotionally manipulating you like a master. You do not need to be uncomfortable so he can be comfortable. I always caution to be kind. But this is not the time. Tell him once that his talking like that is making you uncomfortable and if he doesn't stop block him. If you have already told him this and he didn't stop, then block him. You are not responsible for his emotions. It is okay to prioritize your well-being and your own mental health. NTA High-functioning autistic human here. His emotional needs are not your problem. Be very firm. Blunt to the point of seeming rude. We autists can sometimes fail to see other people's needs when our own are intense. It occasionally takes someone being brutally honest to snap us out of it. You are coming on very strong. This makes me uncomfortable. Please stop. I am not angry with you. But I must be honest please respect my boundaries. Boom. Done. If he goes into a tirade about everyone ghosting him. Life is so hard. Wah wah. Block. Done. You owe him nothing. His emotional regulation is not your responsibility. Keep telling no, he might be autistic but no is an answer he should understand if he is in college. Is he part of the same college? I've had this happen a few times with my autistic students and I've had to have firm words with them. It might be worth speaking to a college tutor to see if they can sort it out. I work with people with needs. Be firm. There's nothing wrong with saying no. This young man has went much too far. Some people weaponize their disabilities. He's taking advantage of you so you should just block him. High-functioning autistic people aren't dumb. Don't infantilize the mentally ill. Just ghost him. You're not doing him any favors by coddling him and in his eyes stringing him alone gonna say this now and it doesn't just pertain to this one guy if anybody tells you that they know how everyone feels about them run that is a form or manipulation and as you mentioned guilt tripping i forget the exact term for it but i heard it once in cognitive behavioral therapy don't fall for it just block him and move on with life. That's not your problem to deal with. People think that because someone is disabled that you can't be firm with them but it's actually even more important that you are absolutely clear and leave no ambiguity in the situation. Of course, have empathy and don't just explode out of nowhere. But absolutely have the conversation. Firmly tell him to stop that you aren't interested. If he continues, block him. Don't be nice to people who continuously violate your boundaries. Tell him you don't want to talk to him anymore and block him. You are not responsible for his emotions. And he clearly doesn't respect yours. You want magic words to make him agree with you that he should stop contacting you. And there are none innocence doesn't really matter you are not obliged to let someone harass you because they're limited in intellectual or social skills if he was physically assaulting you his inability to understand that you don't want to be touched wouldn't mean you don't have a right to move away or defend yourself if you want to do him a kindness tell him in very clear terms that his disrespect for your boundaries manipulative talk and attempts at inappropriate conversation is what has led to you needing to block him. Do not engage in an argument with him about this. Tell him, and tell him that if he contacts you again you may have to pursue options with school or civil authorities to protect yourself, and then block him. He knows exactly what he's doing. Block him now. Stop caring about his feelings and be honest with him. If he still doesn't leave you alone then block him. Just because someone is disabled it doesn't mean he, she is innocent and harmless. 
Unfortunately women are trained from a young age to be polite, even when they are uncomfortable. I know you want to be kind, but any small opening is going to give him a ray of hope. It's okay to be firm and direct and block him. While I would hope he's getting whatever therapeutic help he needs, it is not your responsibility and you should not feel guilty about staying safe and not tolerating unwelcome behavior. Tell his parents off. Clearly he has a problem with boundaries and he needs guidance. Block him and be firm with him but also tell his parents so they can help him. Share with them your discomfort. Show them the messages. If he's autistic and doesn't get your hints, then you have to be direct with how you feel. I initially said no, I don't really use it, that's not being direct about not wanting him to have your Insta. That's saying you don't use your Insta and hoping he'd get the hint. If you want to be a big person, you might tell him what he did wrong before ending it. Don't be afraid to be direct. He won't like it, but it's better than all the people who ghost without reasons. He might actually not know what he did. Not all toxic behavior is done consciously. People telling you he must know you're not comfortable with the conversation likely don't know anything about autism. Not noticing the other person is uncomfortable listening to you is sadly a pretty typical trait. Once again put down in writing your boundaries with how often you guys have contact or topics you aren't comfortable with along with the texts of him talking about how everyone leaves him being a big no-go and that if he disregards one of those set boundaries you will block him or any other measure you feel appropriate. Get him to in writing agree to this and get a screenshot of that as you then can prove these were your boundaries and he knew them. If he breaks them take the action you see fit such as blocking him. Clear boundaries are important just in case it is that his repeated actions occurs because of the lack of clear boundaries or if it is intentionally going against what you're comfortable with. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.